I had never really used Quora before, the question and answer website that purports to share and grow the world's knowledge. However, for the first time ever, I decided to answer a question that was recommended for me. A maths question came up, which I figured I could easily work out, so I decided to share my answer with the world, discussed at the end of the video. It took me about 15 minutes to solve and compile, but after hitting the submit button, I was sent an email stating, Quora moderation flagged your profile as not conforming to Quora's real name policy. Quora questions. After a bit of investigating, it seems that somebody at Quora doesn't like people using so-called fake names, even though my Quora name is just my Google account ID. So my account has been blocked until I can provide some appropriate details. I guess they want some identification. My first question, why does it matter? Does it change anything if I use my real name or not? If my name was John Smith, would this somehow make my answers more legitimate, even though there are millions of John Smiths around the world? Am I more likely to make up a bullshit answer under a pseudonym? Were George Orwell's publications any less compelling because he wasn't using his real name? Quora knowledge. I'll tell you what is bullshit. Quora's real name policy. It achieves nothing except makes Quora feel like a dictatorship. I'm not going to pursue them and fight for justice. They're free to make up any rules they want to. Instead, I'm just not going to use their service anymore. They claim to want to share and grow the world's knowledge, but their draconian policies tend to say otherwise. If somebody knows an answer to something, I really don't care what their name is. If Bilbo Baggins was able to explain the theory of relativity to me in a concise and accurate manner, does it really matter that his name is not really Bilbo? Cora, stop trying to be a dictatorship and instead focus on your original mission of encouraging knowledge sharing. By the way, here's the question and answer that I provided that started this silliness. Question. It would take John 6 hours to paint a certain room himself, and it would take Tom 12 hours to paint the same room by himself. If John and Tom work together, each at his individual rate, how many hours will it take them to paint the room? Answer. Pick a room size, say 24 meters squared. It doesn't matter what size you pick. Now, John can paint that room in 6 hours, which equates to 4 meters squared per hour, 24 divided by 6. Tom can paint it in 12 hours, which equates to 2 meters squared per hour, 24 divided by 12. If they work together, assuming they don't get in each other's way, they can paint at a rate of 6 meters squared per hour, John 4 plus Tom 2. To paint the entire room would take them a total of 4 hours, 24 divided by 6.